Hi Storytime Lovers! Do you have a pet? I have two cats called Ziggy and Snow, and I often wonder what goes on in their little kitty brains. What would our pets say if they could speak? Today's story is a little bit about that. It's the story of a little boy and his dog. Or should I say, of a dog and his little boy, because in this story, the narrator is the dog. What's a narrator? It's the person telling the story, which means that the dog, not the boy, is telling the story. I Always Wanted One was written by Olivier Talek, a French illustrator and graphic designer based in Paris. And if you like this book, you can easily find more, as he has illustrated more than 60 books. My favorite ones to read are Who, What, Where and Who Done It, which are problem solving books that require sharp eyes and keen observation. Let's take a peek at a couple of pages to give you an idea. Can you guess who ate all the jam? And what about this one? Can you guess who got stuck in the tree trunk? And I would also recommend Jerome by Heart, It's My Tree, and Big Wolf, Little Wolf. Of course, all the links to purchase these books are in the description box below. And now, let's read a pet story with a twist. I always wanted one. So that morning, when I saw him there, I could not believe my eyes. I got a little bit closer and my heart beat a little bit faster. I could see right away how cute he was, with his big beautiful eyes, but he was so shy at first, we had to get to know each other, it's often like that with new friends. I know he was a gift, which is great, but sometimes I wish I could have picked him myself. There are just so many of them to choose from. It's fine though, he's still cool. And anyway, I think we quite like each other. I must walk him every day, even when it's raining. If he stays in all day, he tends to get frustrated. But I like to show him off. All my friends have one too, but I think mine is the best one. He doesn't behave himself all the time. He keeps on running away. I can spend the whole day looking for him. He always comes back eventually. Still, I wonder, where does he go all day? It's the same when we go on vacation. I'm always scared I'll lose him. But it's never for long. At home, the couch is my spot. I don't really like it when he climbs up to join me, but sometimes when we're watching the TV together and eating chips, he falls asleep, and that's quite cute. In the beginning, I wanted him to sleep in my house. We tried, but it was impossible. He refused to sleep and he took up all the room. We decided he should sleep in the cat's house. It's very big and is right next to mine. That way, he's not far away. I tried to teach him how to eat on the floor, like everybody else, but he prefers the table. He's a really fussy eater. He doesn't like anything. I just think it's weird that he doesn't like dry food. And he's just terrible at washing himself. But once he's dried off, he's all soft and warm. And lucky for him, I love brushing his hair. And so it wasn't always easy. But then we found this game we love. He throws a stick and I get it and give it back. Then he throws it again and again. We can play for hours. Well, he loves it, but I have to say, it gets quite boring after a while. 
Anyway, we've known each other for a long time now. Years even. He's grown bigger and takes up all the room on my couch. He still doesn't like dry food and he still loves that stick game. But we remain the best of friends in the world. Thank you so much for listening, everyone. Don't forget to check out the description box to get your own copy of I Always Wanted One and to discover more books by Olivier Talek. Take care, read on, and see you soon.